following episode is intended for mature audiences and contains adult content, graphic language, and graphic violence. Viewer discretion is advised. By now I'm tipping you're only tuning into these videos because of these intros, right? Good, because this one is just like the others. It's been a while, and I'm fucking hungry. So we're gonna go get our munch on with some humans again. No, I will not stop. They're fucking delicious. An arm here, a leg there. Dismemberment is definitely going to be a highlight. We also eat parrotfish for the first time. Polly don't want a cracker, but Shark Zero definitely wants some parrotfish for lunch. There's gonna be another Apex throwdown too, with the Apex Hammerhead. I don't have many puns for that. Thought I'd be straight up. Did I nail it? Asleep. It feels like forever. Oh, hi guys, didn't see you there. It's time to get out of the grotto. God knows how long I've been in there for. It's been a while. I'm very hungry. These humans keep leaving these, these cages down here for me to grab. are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi edible detritus. Looks like a beautiful day. So, it's time for us to move on to bigger and better pastures, because I'm starting to become a big bad shark, and uh, the bigger I get, the more space I'm going to need. So we're going to go check out Sapphire Bay and see whether Sapphire Bay is the right place for us to now lock ourselves down, at least for the time being. Ooh, there's a Hubert over there. It's been a while. Keep swimming. I don't even know I'm here. Oh, it tastes so good! Oh, I tell you what. When you take time off from Pier swimming One's around... Dog Grill is famous oh. for its endless platter challenge. Featuring a dozen oysters, one full rack of ribs, six sausage links, half a barbecue chicken, and 25 spicy wings. Well, that's one endless platter that I'd love to get my hands on. Ooh, we've got some turtles down here. And some seals! Oh! Not gonna miss you this time! How about a kiss from a rose, bitch? Got some king mackerels, some more seals. Some groupers, oh! It's like an all-you-can-eat buffet out in this place! Who doesn't love a munch on a seal though, am I right? Got some prime real estate out here. It's free real estate. Nice looking grotto from the outside. A quiet space is Ooh. the ideal stage for the shark to meditate. Even more beautiful on the inside. <sighs> I think I'm gonna have a little nap. I need a nap. Didn't think all that swimming would tire me out so much. It's been it's been too long. Oh! If it isn't my cousin, the hammerhead. Well, I think we'll just uh we'll stay down here for the time being. We don't need to be getting involved with him just yet. Long a haven for small government ideologues, Port Clovis prides itself in its lax amusement park safety standards. It looks like there's a lot of uh it's a marlin too. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for this. We're, uh... We've got a taste for human flesh. We ate that poor bastard back there and I've got a... I've got a hunger that cannot be quenched by anything else with human blood! Damn it, I didn't make it. I'm out of practice. There we go. 
Yeah, you all forgot Godzilla was a land shark, didn't ya? Shark Zero's back with a vengeance. Oh my god. They taste so good. Having evaded justice for her heinous crimes, the shark is now the subject of a bounty. Oh, great. That's just what we need. I haven't missed you bastards, that's for damn sure. You guys want to start shooting? I'll just start picking you off the boats one by one, that's fine with me. Thank you. Gotcha, bitch! Lining up for me, they're stupid. They're like cow to the slaughter. They think they're hurting me, but they're not. Oh! Three boat fools already down. I'm just going to keep doing this because I have uh, picked up along the way that my fins do a little bit of damage. Aren't you going to call out your big boss friend? Oh, this is great. I can't get enough. You guys tell me to stop. You, you, you're looking at me like this is a bad thing. I can assure you of one thing, ladies and gentlemen. There is nothing more sweet than the taste of human meat. your boat, bitch. Keep shooting me. Keep getting me angry. Keep wasting your bullets. Because the longer they hang out here in the ocean, the hungrier I become. And then when they start swimming, they just become an easier target. We in the, uh, the ocean out here, us and the shark family. If we see a hunter trying to get away by swimming, that's what we call takeaway food. Nothing like eating out, am I right? Oh, you want to throw dinamite? Okay. Surely you're the last one. Oh look, I've got all your drivers. Fantastic. Who else wants some? The rogue shark must now be killed. Oh yeah. Mm. Thirst for revenge. The Hoosier hotshot, Ensign Tyler Dixon. Tyler Dixon. Well, well, well. It's about time you showed your face around here, boy. Because in my time in the deep, briny blue, I've learned one thing, and that's these so-called uh, master hunters. They're the tastiest of the bunch. It's like they've been marinating in some sweet, sweet juices. Oh, Tyler. Despite increased aerial surveillance, Let's take him down with us. And locals alike is far take Tyler down to the briny deep. Thank you. You want to keep fucking on with God's here? Okay, that's fine. These hunters don't know when to quit. I've come a long way since being that baby tiger shark that they threw in the bayou. Tossed to the side like I was a piece of shit. Tell your friends that they're running the risk of being eaten if they come out here. Well, actually, they're not going to be able to tell their friends because I'm going to eat them all! Sink your boat and 
put them in a position where they have to swim, and I'm just going to eat them all up. Oh, your boat's smoking, guys. There's something wrong with your engine. Oh, here we go. Easy pickings. Easy pickings. Oh, I can taste the desperation. Come on, guys. Come join us for a swim. Oh, this one just went overboard. Alright guys, stop shoot. Stop shoot. Stop shoot. Alright, he's the plane. He's the plane. Is there any more over here? Oh, I see ya. Too bad I can't get up there. Where's your friend? Oh, there you are. Thank you. When he was another oh. The fact that he was afraid of that Ferris wheel should have told me he was never going to be no shark. Have a look at me go, ladies and gentlemen. If I haven't established my dominance as the apex shark of this ocean by now, then I don't know who has. Big Bad Shark Zero is here to stay. I've run some more tests, Mr. Davis, and I think I've diagnosed your condition. It seems that whenever you see Doritos, your nervous system gets overexcited and simply shuts down. So you're saying I can never eat Doritos again? Well, in theory, a large electrical shock could stabilize you, but that would be highly dangerous. So what'd the doctor say? found some more humans. I'm not playing when I say the uh, the hunger cannot be quenched. Well, the thirst might not be quenched. The hunger cannot be satiated. You know what I mean. I'm mixing up my words because I'm goddamn hungry for human meat. And have a look here. It's like a la carte. I can just pick. Have a look. Uh oh. Uh oh. You guys are lucky I needed some water. I'm gonna come back for you. No, no, Zero, you gotta get up. You gotta get up on there. No, no, you gotta get up on there. There we go. Hunters waste little time hitting the water when a shark becomes a threat to These the hunters are back, are they? I, I'm not gonna deal with their shit. Somebody got eyes on her. You guys can't see me down here. Mixing it up now. We've had our fill of human. We're having some dessert. We're digging into some parrot fish. Something that I haven't tasted before, but fuck me. Look at a sweet finish. Perfect little dessert after having a stomach full of human meat. And they come in perfect bite-sized servings as well, so they're not really asking much. Do you see that license plate up there? We're going to get that license plate after we eat some more parrotfish. Oh, hello humans. I didn't realise you guys were over here as well. Don't mind if I do. two-course dinner just sitting right here. We can help ourselves to dessert and we can continue having the main course at the same time. I need another parrot fish. Come here. Gotcha! Oh, it's so sweet!
Well, 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 it looks like they want me to take out some more parrotfish. Not only are they tasty, but it looks like they're causing a little bit of trouble. Did, did you like that? I've been auditioning for the uh, Deep Blue Olympics. Oh, I love me some turtle. Something satisfying about the crunch of a turtle shell. But it looks like parrotfish are causing a bit of trouble out here. They want me to cull the herd a little bit. Time for the parrotfish population to be cut back just a tad. Oh, you want to go? You want to go, bitch? Okay. Didn't learn from the family reunion last time, I gather. Piece of shit. I told you. Shark Zero is now the king of the ocean. Y you want more proof? Come back here, bitch. No, 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 no. There's no running away once you start. You finish what you start, you coward. Now, I know it's frowned upon if you have sex with your cousin. But is it frowned upon if you eat your cousin? Is it considered being inbred as well? I mean, some would argue that you have to eat your cousin before you, you have sex with your cousin in some circumstances. But hey, I'm not one to talk about foreplay here, ladies and gentlemen. But let me tell you what. I've got a bit of a sweet tooth when it comes to munching down on some shark meat. It's probably the closest I'll ever get to cannibalism, eating another shark. I should try it sometime. Eating a shark, not cannibalism. A shark is a major player in the balance of marine life. Well, I know, I'm more than a player. I'm the referee, I'm the coach, I'm the goddamn entire team! Shark Zero be knocking down them threes, baby! It seems that there is only one thing that now stands between myself and claiming Sapphire Bay as my own. Evolutionary anomaly, the hammerhead. I've been taking down my younger cousins with ease, but this bastard, he's been giving me shit for years. What's his name? His name's Henry. Good old Henry Hammerhead over here. Thinks he's top shit. Double H, they call him. I call him DH. I call him good old dickhead. And he's bringing his... You want to bring the whole family in, alright. Bringing his friend Marlon into this. Don't blow your didgeridoo, Marlon. Get out of here. This is between me and my cousin. Henry could never have a clean fight. Always had to bring Marlon and his other friends into the mix. What's wrong, Henry? Am I proving too tough for you? You're bleeding out everywhere, Henry. You got your period? Start calling you Henry Edda. The bull shark oh, Henry. Overcoming her opponent's clearly superior depth percentage. I'm not even sorry, Henry. Fucking delicious. Where's your friend Marlin? You think I'm leaving before I fucking finish you off as well, Marlin? Oh, you want to bring your okay? You want to bring the other guys into it as well? Predator's torpedo-like form allows her to navigate the area. Get over here, you swashbuckling fuck! Ain't nothing like a little bit of swordfish to finish off a Marlin and a hammerhead meal. Who's the king of Sapphire Bay now? We'll have a look. It's gonna nibble his toes a little bit. Oh! Ho, ho! 
Thank you for setting up the bonfire, guys. Nothing like a little bit of bonfire. Sitting on the beach. Dehydration and eating some humans. Are just some of the risks of a day at the beach. Just a typical Sunday afternoon for our Shark Zero. Are you going to swim away? A successful shark hunt is traditionally celebrated with off-brand cinnamon whiskey and large quantities of pseudo offend. Yeah, look, they can send as many hunters out as they want. They're not catching me. Dominance has been established. This is my goddamn bay. A little bit of water. Oh, I'm coming. Oh, number 15 sitting right here. This is the only known habitat. Oh, yum! But, you know, they went extinct in 2007. After all that eating, I feel a bit bloated. You guys just don't let up, do you? Port Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. What have we got down here? If this is not the perfect little hideout. Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flotsam and jetsam. I've ingested a fair bit and I think I need a bit of a nap. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel and want to support the channel further, you can hit subscribe and pledge your allegiance to the God Zero Nation. Social media links, playlist, all in the description. Go check it out. Check out my chumpers. I'll see you guys in the next episode.